Clay Thompson is one of the oft underappreciated players responsible for the Golden State Warriors' impressive run over the last decade. With that being said, this season Thompson has been experiencing some backlash from fans and pundits alike due to his underwhelming performances on the court. What did Clay have to say about all this, and what does he see as being his future in the sport? Stick around until the end of the video to find out. First up, how is Clay Thompson doing this season? Although Clay Thompson has had an impressive record across his career, 2022 has not been his most impressive season, to say the least. Over the entirety of his career, fans got used to seeing Clay putting up well over 20 points per game. While this is an undeniably impressive stat, in 2022 so far, he has not been able to match it. While he is usually well known for his high three point percentage and his strength at the foul line, his performance in both of these categories has dropped significantly. So far this year, the shooter is only making 33% of his attempted three pointers and only 75% of his free throws. These stats have led to him having the lowest per game average of his career since his rookie season. So far this year, he has been putting up an average of 14.7 points a game, which is only roughly two points more than his rookie season average of 12.5. With all this being said, the season is still very young and there is plenty of time for Thompson to turn things around and improve his average. With all this being said, how are the Warriors faring as a whole considering Thompson's underwhelming performances? So how are the Warriors doing as a whole this season, the Warriors probably aren't too thrilled with how their season has started. While Thompson is certainly a part of their current lack of success, it's hard to blame him entirely. Also, although the Warriors haven't been dominant, they haven't been abysmal either. Currently, the team is standing with a record of six wins and eight losses. This comes after one of their most impressive games of the season so far, beating the San Antonio Spurs 132-95. to There has been a lot of talk as to what has happened for the Warriors to be in the conversation for the top spot in the league, one route the team is looking at is altering their secondary lineup. It appears the team will be counting on some of their talented yet unproven young talent to help out more, including James Wiseman, Jonathan Kuminga, and Moses Moody. This is a different strategy from that of past years. As Draymond Green said, the team could usually rely on a veteran player to lead the secondary lineup and guide the action accordingly. The team used to have more variety in the two lineups playing styles, and this year it's much more similar, which has has presented some interesting challenges. Green has said that Jordan Poole's playing style is very similar to that of Curry's, which leads to a dynamic that needs some adjusting. Because many new players are not used to Curry's playing style, they are still adjusting to the random nature of his game, which has led to some confusion. He checked it. Steph for the win. Yes! One interesting suggestion made by Charles Barkley was to replace Clay Thompson in the starting lineup with a secondary guy like Jordan Poole. This predictably rubbed Clay Thompson the wrong way, which we will get into more later in this video. If there's one thing that's clear right now, it's that the Warriors are fighting an uphill battle. So this begs the question, when has Clay Thompson faced adversity before in his career? Now that he's in another tough spot, when has Clay overcome adversity in his career? With many pointing fingers at Clay Thompson for the lack of success this season, it appears that the player will have to overcome quite a bit of adversity to prove the doubters wrong. Luckily for him, he is no stranger to such a feat. Recently, Thompson overcame injuries that could have very well halted his career in its tracks. Just a few years ago, Thompson tore his ACL and his Achilles shortly after. This led to him having to sit out two entire seasons from 2019 to 2021. He would make his return last season and despite his injuries, would still play in peak form. Remarkably, the player averaged 20.4 points per game with a three-point average of 38.5%. His performance would eventually help lead the Warriors to yet another NBA championship this season with an amazing season like this in his recent past. It's clear the player has the tools that it takes to overcome adversity and make the most of a bad situation. With all this being said, Thompson has very rarely responded to pundits in the past, instead relying on his playing to do the talking for him. So why is it that he now feels the need to respond? Moving on, why is Thompson now responding to fans and pundits. With Thompson's recent rebuttals to pundits saying that he should be benched for his performances, the player did something he rarely ever does and responded to them. Because this is so out of character for the player, many fans are wondering why he would do such a thing. Ultimately, it's likely because he feels underappreciated after his years of hard work with the team. Every player has off games, and nobody can be expected to be at the top of their game 100% of the time. It appears like Thompson feels that people are speaking too soon about 
about his performance this season and that they should have more faith in him. After all, there are plenty of armchair critics who feel like they know best about the sport and a player like Thompson's position is likely best served to just block out the noise. With that being said, it's understandable he would get frustrated when he is hearing nothing but negative feedback about his performances, so what did Thompson have to say in response to Barkley and all the other doubters? So what is it that Thompson had to say about the doubters? With everyone seemingly talking about how poorly Thompson has been playing this season, the NBA star had enough and decided to respond. Thompson appeared frustrated by what people were talking about, seemingly forgetting how well he played last year despite all his injury woes. The Warrior said that he didn't feel he was getting the credit he deserved for overcoming some incredibly serious injuries, as he said, I helped a team win a championship last year and people still want to discredit what you do. It's clear Thompson feels like his contributions to the 2022 Warriors team were being overlooked in favor of his lackluster performances this year. The good news is, it appears that Thompson is not dwelling on what's being said about him, and is instead focusing on improving his game, and being the best player possible, as he would go on to say, you just can't please everybody, but for myself individually, it's about rediscovering that form of efficiency and that two-way play that made me great, and I feel like I'm well on my way there. Thompson won't improve by simply resenting the fact that people aren't giving him the credit he feels he deserves, as he says it's on him to continue improving as a player, and reworking his game to get back to where he once was, as he would go on to say the team is only 14 games into a very long season, so they have plenty of time to iron out the kinks and rediscover what made them so great last year. As he says, if they can get their trouble sorted out early, they may still have a chance at a dominant run in the latter half of the season. It's never easy for a team to win back-to-back -back championships, but it appears like Thompson has faith that his team can pull it off. If there's one certain thing, it's Thompson's faith in himself to be the best player he can be. He finished his interview by saying, I have no doubt in my mind, I'll get back to form. I was there last year. I was right there. We won a championship, and I have no doubt we'll get back there. The proof is in the pudding. But there's one more thing I'll say. You can't take away the hardware. With everything that Thompson is saying about his season, fans are probably well suited to believe him. After all, he's not some unproven rookie, but a true veteran who has helped the Warriors win a whopping four championships. As he said himself recently when this was brought up, you're damn right, I've been here for those titles. People act like they forgot. At the end of the day, Thompson is 32 and may be approaching the end of his prime as a player. Whether he will be able to return to peak form and help the Warriors win yet another championship, that remains to be seen. What are your thoughts on Klay Thompson's performance this season? Do you think he'll be able to turn it around over the coming games? Bielitsa keeps it alive for Thompson, connects for three of game six. And do you think the Warriors have any real chance of winning the NBA championship back to back? Please let us know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Thank you so much for watching and as always, we'll see you next time.